as this chapter is a continuation to the previous chapter so before starting this chapter i would recommend you to watch my previous video on chapter 1 and then continue with this part the link of the chapter 1 is also available in the description below here in chapter 2 the end of bipolarity we will see how the disintegration of ussr took place and its causes and its consequences we will also see how the end of cold war took place in 1991 and we will also discuss what had happened to the part of the world after the collapse of the communist regime first of all let us discuss what is soviet union or ussr that is union of soviet socialist republics this USSR consists of 15 countries including Russia. This, this USSR came into existence after the Socialist Revolution of Russia in 1917. The Socialist Revolution of Russia is inspired by the idea of socialism and opposed capitalism. Here, the socialism means working for the welfare of the society. And we can say that this revolution of Russia was the biggest attempt in human history to design a society based on the principle of equality. We have seen in our previous video that the Eastern Europe, that is this part, Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe countries allied with USSR after World War II. And this group is known as Soviet bloc and the Warsaw Pact which was signed in 1955 was a military alliance that held all this country together. Now let us discuss why Soviet Union become great power after World War II. So before starting this let me give a brief idea about the World War II. As we know as we know that in world in world war 2 that is in 1945 this allied forces defeated this axis forces the allied forces comprising of usa ussr britain and france were the winner and they defeated them this germany italy and japan but among this allied forces uh, USA and USSR became superpower but what about Britain and France though Britain and France were the winner of the World War II but they could not become superpower like USA and USSR because during the World War II they had this Britain and France had so much financial loss that they could not become as powerful as USA and USSR and finally only this USA and USSR emerged as two superpowers of the world so between these two now we'll discuss about why Soviet Union or USSR become became superpower after the World War II because the economy of Soviet Union was so developed that they had very vast energy resources including oil, iron, steel and machinery production. They had high class infrastructure and their transport system is well connected to all the remotest area of the countries. Third, though their quality could not match to date of western countries, still everything from a simple pins to car were produced by their domestic consumer industries. The government of Soviet Union also ensured the minimum standard of living for all the citizens and government also provided subsidies for health, education, child care and many other welfare schemes as we have seen that ussr had 
well developed economy also high class infrastructure but there were some regions why ussr could fall behind western countries let us discuss the following points first because as most of the institution of soviet union was one party system that is communist party so they had tight control over all the institution and was unaccountable to the people that means the government party refused to recognize the need or desire of the people due to lack of democracy in ussr the people do not have their own individual rights and no freedom of speech because of their tight control also the soviet invasion of afghanistan in 1979 to 89 weakened the system further soviet union also lagged behind the western countries because they could not fulfill the political economic aspirations of the citizens and the last point is that though ussr comprised of 15 countries only russia was dominating everything and the people from other regions felt neglected and suppressed mikhail gorbachev and the disintegration of ussr mikhail gorbachev became the general secretary of communist party of ussr in 1985 but by the time mikhail gorbachev became general secretary the people of ussr were already facing many crises due to lack of food unemployment and many more he then promised that he will bring changes in the system and in future he will make the system in such a way that it will work for the welfare of the people and he met two following reforms that is normalizing relation with the western world and political reforms and democratize democratization though he made following reforms and also promised to work for the welfare of the people but were not appreciated by the people of ussr because the people at the time wanted fast changes and they were searching for such a ruler who can fulfill their expectation at the meantime boris yeltsin who was a republican emerged as a hero among the people and promised that he will create a new system which will match the living standard of the people he also won the presidential election of russia in 1991 and converted soviet union as soviet republics though before 1990s he served as a communist party member but later on much of his life he eventually came to believe in both democracy and free market reforms and he also played a great role in the collapse of soviet union or ussr So in the next part we will discuss why Soviet Union disintegrated and its consequences and the causes of disintegration thank you